Hello, and welcome to the Tools for Motherhood activity series. In this particular video, we will be covering pre-reading foundational information, and this will be for children zero to five years of age. Our goal for this is to talk about ways of building communication skills and literacy knowledge. Let's get started. A parent is one of the most influential people in preparing a child to be a good reader. The foundation built at home is like the basement for his future schoolhouse to be built on. Few children learn to love books themselves. Someone has to lure them into the wonderful world of the written word. Someone has to show them the way. That's by Orville Prescott, a father reads to his children. Some of the pre-reading skills and standards uh, that we strive to achieve for our children during the early years as we try to build communication skills and literacy knowledge, we can emphasize the use of language in many different ways, um, help them to observe and respond to communication, and demonstrate early reading skills. Some examples of tips for selecting books for young preschoolers the goal would be to look for simple plots, familiar experiences, colorful, bold illustrations, lots of plot repetition, and rich language such as rhymes, nonsense words, and repetition. Some examples of familiar experiences that young children may go through such as potty training, going to the dentist, or perhaps a trip to the beach. All these can be examples of opportunities where a book might be a, a good way of describing where they're going and using um, words that they will be hearing or using once they get there. Now once the child becomes an older preschooler, books can can begin to have um, a longer attention span for focusing on. Those plots can be more complex and the humor and fantasy uh, are particularly meaningful to children. And stories about faraway places are also very intriguing for this age. Some strategies for reading books to young children. Uh, you could select the books that are good for reading aloud. Um, prepare the reading area ahead of time. Perhaps you have a chair that you like to sit in together to read a book, or perhaps start a bedtime routine. And then transition into story time. Perhaps talk about a topic ahead of time and say, oh, let's read a book on that particular topic. So set the stage ahead of time. As you're reading, use expression and uh, vary your voice, either have it be very soft or bold and, and loud um, as the, you, uh, your voice changes for the different characters. Take your time as you're reading. Show the pictures to your child and point out different things in the pictures. Uh, run your finger under the text to show the words that you're reading and involve your child by asking them questions. Talk about the pictures that you're looking at or discuss some of the things that you're learning. Ask them questions along the way. Next, reading to your child and building strong two-way communication with him or her is critical to his or her academic success, possibly even their success at life in general. According to Gail E. Haley, in her 1971 Caldecott Medal um, acceptance speech, she said, children who are not spoken to by live and responsive adults will not learn to speak properly. Children who are not answered will stop asking questions. They will become incurious, or in other words, not curious. And children who are not told stories and who are not read to will have few reasons to learn. William Bennett in the book, The Educated Child has said, one of your most important goals, mom, in the preschool years, from an academic standpoint, your most important goal, bar none, is to get your child excited about reading. Reading is the heart of education. Thanks so much for watching today. If you would like more ideas, please check out our Tools for Motherhood website. Happy learning.